here today with Wampach Wilson Jr. and Rachel Glenn after another successful day for you. Uh, we'll start with the 300 hurdles. Uh, lifetime best 4101. Yeah. Better is your state leading mark, number three U.S., number 17 all time in the state. Um, please just take us to that performance. What clicked out there for you to allow you to get that to um, pretty much. Obviously, it's massive, so I know the competition is much tougher. So I know I had to get out bigger, better, and stronger than I did, did than I do normally. And especially going on to the curve, I noticed that people were still ahead of me. So I was like, it's time to break the stagger and get off the curve as hard as like you would at 400, like a last meter, last 150 of the 400. I would do like I did in the 300 hurdles. Now coming down to the finish there, did it feel like you were going as fast as you were? No, definitely not. <laughs> I was dying by the last, like the last 100, but I knew I had to keep pushing through in order to win. So. Now the Masters meet is generally known as a qualifier for yeah. top runners. Yeah. Um, and obviously you come into this with the top time in the state. So a lot of times you get a sense that runners don't necessarily put yeah. their all to it. Or they just do what they need to qualify. But you're coming out here with a 4101. Yeah. How much confidence do you take from your performance now looking ahead to the state meet? Um, I'd say the same confidence I had this morning I'll carry on into state, but I definitely know that state meet, right now I know who I'm competing against, but the state meet you don't know who you're competing against. So I'm not, I'm just definitely keeping an eye out for people who's like on my tail ready to chase me. Obviously, this is the time of year where you want to be and with those times lower. Yeah. Do you feel like right now you are as good as you've been so far this season? Um, I want to say because it is, has been my first season doing hurdles. So I want to say with people, I know since I'm at the top, I know people are going to be chasing me, wanting to take my spot. So I just keep that in my head. That's how I, that's my motivation to keep going faster. And I will switch over to the high jump, 5-8 um, here today. Yeah. Um, obviously, going into that as a defending state champion, um, do you feel as though right now you're starting to get back to where you want to be in that particular game? Um, right now, no. <laughs> Most people would say yes, but no, not right now. Usually I, I want to jump 5-10 before I go to state. So let's see how practice goes this week, and then I think I'll be, I think I'll be ready to jump 5-11 by the time state comes. What do you think is the biggest uh, key for you to execute that jump at 5 10 this weekend? Um, basically staying away from the bar and making sure I do the motions, the techniques that my coach taught me, the chin to chest, the flipping your, your legs back, being patient, and definitely staying away from the bar. Because most of my mistakes is me jumping into it. And then obviously earlier today in the 100 hurdles, uh, 1432 I believe, uh, also a lifetime best yeah. for you um, in that particular race. What clicked out there for you as well? Obviously, different execution mm -hmm. has to happen from the 300 to the 100. What was it today? Yeah, my mindset going into the 100 hurdles, I had to be the first one to the first hurdle because I know the girls. My sprinting isn't my best event, so I know I would be behind by a lot, but by, not by a lot, but like I will be. I'll be behind like more than normally. So I knew I had to get out faster. So I didn't get out the best I could have today. So my competition, we were like all in a row. So. I was like, each hurdle you have to push down, push out, push out, push out, push out, all the way to the finish line. Going into the state meet, mm -hmm. um, there's always athletes that yeah. take on additional spotlights and that you'll be one of them yeah. next weekend. Is that something you're comfortable with or for you is it just each of them taking it and trying to do the very best that you can? Um, I like, the tent almost flew away. Um, um, I like the spotlight pretty well. Um, I'm pretty sure as many other people. But yeah, sorry, can you repeat your question? No, I was going to say, how will you handle the spotlight of oh, yeah. those athletes that people are mm -hmm. kind of looking forward to seeing that's right there? Yeah, I really just want to be um, a motivator for other athletes. I, I would like to be, like, I don't want to be the type of person that's cocky and, like, to throw horn all the time. I'd rather just, like, motivate other athletes to continue what they're doing. Oh, a special day here today, again. Rachel Glenn, Long Beach Wilson, 4101 in the 300 meter hurdles to win that race. Number three time in the U.S. so far this year. Number one in California. Number 17 all time. Also winning the high jump title here yeah. at 5A. Congratulations. Thank you.